Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Asian Programming Visits TV. So, we'll continue with our series of tutorials. It's been quite a while since we last posted. What we're going to do right here, we are starting, uh, we shall be covering a lot of JavaScript. We'll be looking at a lot of frameworks. We're going to start with the client side uh, JS right here, Vue.js. Okay, this is what we're going to start. No, this is a Hello World app right here that we're going to build. You can see right here using the flat buttons okay this is a material design uh vue.js right here so you can see right here if we click the button you can see of course we have our toolbar right here with the title then we have our material our uh, flat buttons right here if we click them of course we're also going to handle the on click events of course using our vue.js this is it guys this is what we're going to be looking at in this particular tutorial so first we're going to be using the code pen okay i'm going to show you how we can use it it's an online ida that we can of course use uh to code of course our javascript applications okay so this is the first thing we already have the source code for this particular tutorial right here you can see in our website campusha.info this is of course the cause uh, that we're going to be covering so of course if we can uh, navigate over to it just uh go ahead click it right here a uh, material view hello world with toolbar okay then this is it right here you can see a uh, view to js so of course we've already written a tutorial to it which we're going to be using as our guidance so of course you can see we're using the material a uh, view to js library right here it's a client side library and then for the, the dependencies that we're going to be using now our idea i said we shall be coding everything right here online okay we shall be doing everything online so we won't have to install any software and then moreover we can easily share code with you i can easily share code with you guys because uh you can go ahead fork my code and then of course edit edit it now these are the dependencies that we're going to be need we're going to uh, need right here you can see these are css dependencies we're going to be fetching them of course from a cdn okay content delivery network so you can see we have written our material as css view material css of course we have our icons also and then of course we have the fonts okay from the uh, google apis.com these are the css that we're going to be uh, using then apart from that one we're also going to come right here we're going to have some javascript now we said we're using right here the view to js so which is a client side uh, library the first thing of course we're going to need of course the cov vue.js so come right here we're going to be fetching it from a uh, cloudflare.com of course a uh, cdn right here okay then of course also going to uh, be needing right here the view material and of course vue.min.js is the core library it's the core vue.js then of course view material is going to give us the material design okay so you can see we have the full source code right here but also if we come right here you can see from the site you can see we have so have our source code now let's just uh, proceed over let's uh, move over of course to our IDE and then I uh, see it so guys the first thing just come right here click edit code okay on of course codepen.js is going to open for us our code right here now you guys can go ahead you can see you can fork it and then you can edit it from there so you can see this is of course our live ide right here we can simply code right here as we see changes okay everything is done online so the first thing that we need to do we come right here to we need to add the dependencies okay let's come right here you can see this is our ide right here so we have of course html css and then of course javascript okay so for what we're going to come right here let's come to the css section we're going to add a couple of dependencies right here just head over to this particular url okay of course you're going to be able to uh, see this particular code you can fork it and then edit it you can see the first uh first dependency css dependence we are fetching them from of course cdn right here we have our google fonts okay then we also have our material icons right here we have uh of course at uh, the font and then of course the material icons then of course we also have the view material.css that we're going to give us that's going to give us this material design feel of course in our app 
So these are the dependencies that we're going to be adding uh, right here. Go ahead, just fork the project. We're going to be able to see them. Then of course we have right here our JavaScript. We view dot main dot js. Then of course uh, we're fetching it from the CDN. Then of course we also have the view material that's going to give us the material design field. So of course we said view dot main dot js. This is our core view dot js. Then of course we have our view material right here. Go ahead, add them. Then of course click save and close. Okay. Once we've done that one, is going to reload it right here. Now, as you can see, our app first the CSS right here. We just define our con. Uh, of course, the padding for our content uh, section right here. So we come. The only thing we need to add right here, as you can see, is just some simple HTML. We're wrapping everything inside this uh, div ID. Okay id equal to app id right here this is our div tag then of course inside it we have our toolbar let me just uh okay we have our toolbar right here then of course our title we have the view material for instance we can come right here and then say something like uh, flat buttons okay so we can change the title right here in our toolbar. You can see right here is going to get a uh, reflected right here. This, this is our toolbar, of course, uh, right here. Then of course we have the content section. So if you come right here to our content section, the class we give it content right here. Then of course we have our right here material view flat buttons, just some simple text. Then of course we have the buttons. You can see. The default, the primary, the accent, the one, disable, as well as the dense. These are flat buttons that we're going to be using right here. So take note, of course, we're using Vue.js. We come in our JavaScript. The first thing we're going to come right here, Vue.use. We're using the Vue material. So then we come right here, Vue var app equal to new. We create a Vue object. Okay, we assign it to this particular app. Now inside it, we're going to pass right, of course, an object. You can see we have, of course, the element right here. We're referencing it as the app ID. Okay, so come right here, element uh, app ID right here. Then, of course, the methods that we're going to be having. Of course, this is the element that we're targeting. So, methods we have only one method that we're calling it grid. Okay, so function message. Ta you can uh, take note right here that is taking a message. Okay, it's taking, of course, a variable. And then it's going to be showing it in a lot dialog. So that's it. It's just simple. So what we do right here for each particular button, when the buttons are clicked, we shall be calling this particular grid method. So for instance, if we click the default, we call the grid, and then of course we pass the text default right here. So how do we handle that one? Now check not MD button right here. Then of course this is our default button. So at click dot native when of course our button is clicked we call the grid function right here grid function is taking of course a parameter so we pass in the default now we're going to do the same thing of course with our second button which is our primary button when the primary button is clicked we call of course the grid function we pass in the primary as our text and of course you can pass in any text right here okay so for instance we can come right here i can go ahead change it now, this is why we decided to use this live IDE right here is because it can, of course, enable us to uh, easily share code and you guys can just go ahead for this particular project and then, of course, edit it. Okay. So, can I see right here, for instance, if I click the primary, you can see the primary button is gets shown to us, of course, right there. Then, of course, we have, of course, our accent right here, the MD uh, button at click.native. We call the grid we pass in the accent text then of course we also have the one button when clicked of course we simply display an alert dialog so of course you guys can go ahead you can implement any function right there we shall be seeing those ones as we continue of course we also have our disabled button this is disabled you can see it is marked disabled of course in our view material then of course at click dot native grid dense then of course we show the dense right here text okay is this simple guys is this simple this is it and of course you may be wondering uh, what about the header head section the title section of course those ones if you want them you can just come right here 
and then you can see we can add for rings so if you want to add uh, the stuff for the head you can add them right here you can see right here okay so of course it's going to automatically generate the head uh, html tag the head tag of course and also the title tag so if you want to customize them we can customize them right there and then of course in our site composure.info of course we shall also be attaching the source code so you guys can download the source code and of course uh, have a look at it okay this is it guys this is our stuff right here now we can go ahead for instance move to the debug view or the full page view then of course it's going to open for us our page right here of course with our stuff so you can see everything fine we have our nice material design page right of course with our view material library that's it guys that's it